Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Empire Total War as Safavid Persia. So last we left off, we are pushing the Georgians back. We have besieged their city. I don't know how this happened exactly. So I can't, I, I don't know. I'm going to even try, let me, let me try. So I'm going to make a save here. Let me go to the main menu and then let me, let me continue this. I want to see what's, what, I want to see what's up with this. So we besieged the city, but I can't see the siege. I actually cannot like click on it, you know? It's really strange. I don't know what's up with that. So anyway, um, this general is actually becoming pretty good. He's 62 years old though, so he's going to die pretty soon. He gets soldier from birth, cavalryman, and then uh, confident general. Let's see, I don't think we have any... What's the name of this general? This is Kusha Gyasi. Brave soldier. Plus two morale in battles. Yeah, any morale in battles we can get is, is nice. Um, do we recruit some more troops here? You know, I think I'm willing to get one more Desert Warriors as well. They're, they're really not great, but they do shore up the line a little bit, so... I think this guy may come and attack me. He's a Delhi Horseman. It's funny that I got a Pikeman unit here, because that's literally... The thing that's needed to be these daily horsemen. Um, ooh, that's true though. These daily horsemen have fucking range. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that then. I'm gonna put a desert warrior here. That's right. I forgot the daily horsemen have uh, muskets. So if he attacks Baghdad, and we don't have any ranged infantry at all, even with the fire locks, that's gonna that's gonna go down pretty bad. Mm. So anyway. So we're going to move these guys back here. We destroyed this little army that the Georgians had. Um, we're going to consolidate some troops up here. We may go to either reinforce this siege or we may go for Yerevan. I don't know. I kind of want to push the Ottomans back a little bit. You know, take the initiative from them, but we'll we'll see how this goes. There's nothing else really to do besides to... We've tried to steal some tech. We actually, just, I think, stole the plug bay net, which was pretty nice. We're trying to steal the, sp the square now, square formation. Is there anything else to do here? We have a... Stall holder for India again. Um, mistress. I think I think we're fine. Um, we actually have some really good ministers. They've been pretty helpful for, for all this time. Yeah, we're going to be getting some, probably some towns uh, growing in a bit. Um, five turns for Afghanistan. 43 for, well, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't upgraded the farms here yet, though. So that's going to that's be better. I mean, I did. Yeah, I don't know. All I, all I need is some peace, man. I mean, once we have some peace and we're able to get our damn drill school, you know, and some artillery, I mean, this this whole game is going to change. We've been really struggling because we've been on the back step for so long. Anyway, let's see what the Jordans do. They're probably going to sally on and attack me. I think I'm okay with that. I think we can take them on. If they let me siege them out, though. That'd also be really, really nice. I really doubt that's going to happen, though. I don't think so. I don't think that's what's going to happen. Ah, oh, you bastards. Ooh, yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let's do this, man. Battle for Georgia, dude. Oh, dear. David Garrick, British actor and theater manager, his last words. <laughs> yeah. So random. I got to admit, I do like the quotes, though. I kind of miss that that Total War doesn't really do that anymore. I miss the quotes. Some of the best quotes were Empire Total War, Napoleon Total War, and Shogun 2. Some of the best pre-battle quotes. Okay. So they have the artillery. Um, where are my reinforcements going to come in from? I'm going to guess from... I want to say from over here. Kind of where we're positioned on the battle map. Okay, we're going we're gonna to stay pretty far back. We're going to put all the Shaternals in the front. So these guys are a little wounded, which is unfortunate. Um, I'll make you guys three. I'm going to put the Shaternal Nomad... Uh, the Camel Gunners... Or the Camel Nomads in the back. And we're going to wait for the infantry. Oh, okay. Okay. So, um, I'm going to redeploy that then. I'm going to go like this. Because they need to attack me because I'm defending. So they're going to come for me one way or another. What the hell is going on here? What is up with that? Why are the camel gunners doing that? That's so weird. I'm telling them to deploy. They're not deploying. Okay, there we go. The 
Okay, holy shit, though. Okay, so what do we have? So we've got a lot of cavalry. Mostly firelocks on this side. So maybe if I can just get some troops in there. These guys will pretty much rout almost immediately. They have a lot of troops in the middle. They have a lot of cav on the right. They got like two provincial cavalry. They got a regiment of horse here. They have most of the line infantry on the right flank. Um, yeah, I'm going to get these fellow here. I need these guys in here. This is going to be interesting. These guys are walking. These guys are walking. He'll probably wait for his entire line to form up. Then again, I think we need to wait as well. Um, I know I'm kind of corner camping a little bit. I don't have much of a choice, though. This is actually not a bad defensive position to take, but we're going to be kind of... In fact, I think I, I, I'm, I'm going to move back a little more, actually, I think. Because I, I kind of want an open field. That's going to be the, what's best for our troops. Um, I don't think we need to run anywhere yet, though. I think we're okay with where we are for now. Okay, I'll put the skirmishers up front, I think, as well. Eh, I'll keep you maybe on the right. She has no trees or something. This guy's getting awfully close. We actually probably could charge that dude if we wanted to get rid of him real fast. What I sent. These camel nomads are all injured. Really? Rain? Hmm. Um, you know, am I willing to take that? I am. I am. Um... I kind of want to even see about maybe a camel gunner or two just going out there taking a pot shot or two. But the thing is, I don't want them to spend all their ammunition. At least while we're waiting for the rest of our troops to get up on in here. These guys are actually getting pretty close. <laughs> We don't have enough inventory to deal with that yet. Yeah, this, this force looks like the flank we're going to take on first. They're in the trees. Oh, not bad. Fellaheen. Again. Oh, what the hell, dude? Holy shit, do you see this? Do you guys see this? Do you see how long this guy's just been sitting here? Holy shit. Yeah, we're definitely gonna send some camel gunners after against that guy. Holy god. I did not actually I did not actually know that's what he was doing. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put these guys here. What I really need is I'm gonna send some camel nomads here. Send two more on this side. So we have Fellaheen are coming right here. Put some guys in the center, yeah.
That's crazy, dude. I didn't even know this guy was sitting here. We could have taken pot shots at him this whole time. Okay, so we're going to run into an issue here. So now our infantry are not on the field. And this guy's going to be upon us pretty soon. This is actually pretty bad. This was not the way I figured this would happen. Um, I don't need as many troops over here, actually. What I really need, I think, is to send some of these troops over here. I'm going to grab, I think, the two Fellaheen units. We may need to just be upon them with the melee infantry. This guy's a fucking huge line. Holy shit. Yeah, we're not going to have the troops for this. There's too many. Fellaheen. Keep some Fellaheen back here. Um... Holy God, man. Okay, so he's pausing now. He's waiting for the rest of the line to come up. It's gonna give me a little bit of time, but not enough. I don't have the rest of my troops up here. What I was really hoping to do was really not have the Philahine out here too much, but I think we're not gonna have that advantage. I don't think so. This fellow Heen here. We got Desert Warriors in the center, which I don't even like having. I usually have them on the flanks. How many of this guy? There's a lot here, dude. One, two, three, four, five. This is five line of entry. No. Four line of entry militia. They have firelocks in the center. Might not be a bad idea to charge them. redeploy the Fellaheen to here. I think I, just, I think I just need one Fellaheen unit for this. There's a lot of fire locks over here, so I'm not that concerned about them. Yeah, we still need four units on the field. More Afghan Hillmen. Holy shit. Let's move the line. Regiment of horse. He doesn't have too much cavalry, but we definitely don't have enough infantry for this fight. Um, cavalry really aren't going to be that effective actually here because we're kind of camped in a corner. <laughs> I know. I know. I gotta spread these guys out as much as possible. I need I need as many men firing at once as possible. Because we do not have the troops to stand up to their line of entry. Um, I even want to put... Motherfucker. Okay, we got more Desert Warriors that I can maybe shore up this flank with. I honestly, actually, I kind of want to pull these Chaternal Camel Gunners out from this position. I don't know if I should have them here. Um, I can maybe put them back here. The Fellaheen right behind them. Keep the Camel Nomads just in case we break anybody. Those Desert Warriors are going right there. Kind of want to put another Hillman in here. You know what I could do is put some Fellaheen in here. Because we only have to deal with that guy. Okay, they repositioned some troops. It looks like they're making the, the center more heavy. They got some militia coming in here. Yeah, they're doing some stuff with the flanks. Okay, so here's begun the ranged engagement.
I think I'm gonna charge the Firelocks. I don't have much of a choice. I charge those dudes. We aren't gonna hold up in this fight. I think I'm also gonna charge the line inventory. Um, what else I got? I got anything else? Ah, oh, son of a bitch, they pulled back. Fuck. These guys are all shattered. Um, fuck, that was pretty good. Okay, so we broke that line infantry unit there. Um, let's see, can I get in here? Let's see. I'm gonna send the Felahine to the right flank. We just deploy these guys right here. We got some camels. We broke that regiment of horse. I think we're gonna lose the center though. I don't have enough troops to hold this. Felahin, go! Sweet. What the fuck is this? Son of a bitch! Where'd these firelocks come from? They're at full strength! Holy shit! Holy shit, what the hell's going on here, dude? Fuck. All right, pull these guys back. You charge them, you charge those dudes. Break those fuckers. Okay. Um, time to run these guys down. So they attacked me. Cease fire. Motherfucker. Okay, chase those guys, dudes. Go for them, go for them. Pull those dudes back. Damn, dude, the fella, he really did a lot here. He killed a lot of troops. I need to kill as much as I can. Any line of entry at all? I'm not too worried about the... Uh I want all the line infantry just dead. Dead, man. Oh shit, that's kind of a big militia unit too. Um... Come on, get him! Get him! Kill him! All the militia, all the line infantry, I need dead. Every single one. I gotta admit though, that went pretty good. That could have gone a lot worse. So now I think we can take the city. Um, either that or protector him, but I think we're gonna go for for taking it. Um, to be fair, though, I think of I think got a minute protector. I wouldn't mind a protector because then, then we don't have to deal with the um, the public order. You know. Now I can't say that he would be loyal forever. So. Technology theft failed. Yeah, that went pretty good. That could have gone worse. Okay. Plus one morale in battles. Alright, so what do we do here? Do we attack this guy or just leave him there? I probably could attack him. Um, between the pikemen that does our warriors, we'd probably be alright.
Got the plug bayonet. Yeah, let's go for the uh, the ring bayonet. Oh, dude, that's right. We stole the plug bayonet technology. So does that mean that we have not been researching this entire time? Holy crap. That's interesting. Okay, so what do we do with these troops? Um, well, now that this pretty much is ours, um, I don't know when I'm going to take that yet. I could actually probably just wait for them to, to siege out. What I do want to do is actually go for Yerevan. Um... Would Georgia take? I don't think they would. Oh, dude, for real. That's interesting. Huh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, dude. I don't really see that happen that often. That's actually pretty curious then. Okay, so we made Georgia Protector, which counts for our victory conditions. Now, to be fair, if somebody wanted to, they could attack Georgia. But that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, 137. Uh, okay. Attacking on land, land cover units. Okay. Gotta admit, that could have been a lot worse. That could have worked out pretty terribly for us. That actually, uh... That didn't work out too bad. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna lower those taxes now. Um, we still really do not have that much money, like, at all. <laughs> like, dude, even for... You know, I probably could have taken this, to be honest. My concern would have been the, um, it's not worth much anyway. And my concern would have been the public order problems. Now, here's what's interesting is, at least in Empire Total War, most of the time, protectorates don't attack you. Once you take a protectorate, they're, they're really just going to stay there. Not much is going to happen, you know? So I'll send those troops there. Um, okay, well, that, that could have been worse. I have to admit, that could have gone a lot worse. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah. I probably could have taken it. Maybe they'll attack me again in the future. I'm just going to leave it for now. We'll see what they do. They're unfriendly. Why do I have more trade available? Did he die? What's up with that? Why do I have more trade available? That's... I don't... I wasn't expecting that. Why? Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Did somebody die? I don't know. Hmm. How are the Mughals doing anyway? Oh my god, the Marathas already took fucking Punjab. Interesting. Alright, France, can you like... Can you get off my back, dude? They're still gonna be blockading this, really. It's gonna hurt us. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I made the right choice with that, but I feel like I did. A protectorate ain't a bad thing. It really is not. A pr protectorates are not bad. Um, and I don't necessarily want the land. You get like a minus 30, you know, public order penalty. You know, I mean, it's it, it can hurt you like a lot. So for now, I'm, I'm going to see what they do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. We'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, right now, I think I want to just start advancing against the Ottomans somehow. I I guess I could take a piece. Probably would they take it? Mm, I doubt it. Can you give me some money. No, no. Even with taking Yerevan. Hmm. That is interesting. All right, let's let's yeah, let's 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 end the turn here. That is curious. At least, at least we've got Georgia off our back, and son of a bitch, <laughs> we got Georgia off our back, and we've secured the north. So now we can go west, or we, we could go east as well. But I really don't think I want to mess with the Marathas right now. Those guys are beastly, dude. Oh, this son of a bitch. 
This is what the fuck I was afraid of, man. Seriously. Oh, cool. We stole the... Um... I'm going to go for carbines. Yeah, okay. So we're still going for plug bay now. Okay. Okay. I've also always found this really interesting on the campaign map. You can actually see here, Georgia and Dagestan almost have the exact same light color. <laughs> um, no, he's not interested in peace, which is curious. All right, man. I mean, shit. If you're not interested in peace, dude, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this the way we need to. All right, can we attack this guy? Can you believe that shit? Oh my god. All right. All right, so here's what we do. We consolidate our gains. We get some wealth. We keep researching. We're going to get the plug bayonet pretty soon. Or the uh, ring bayonet, which means we can start getting the drill school. And after that, we can start tr training some actual armies. Motherfucking pikes. I'm curious, actually, is there any hotkey to... Sorry, guys, I wanted to check this real fast. Is there any hotkey to get rid of the interface? I don't think Total War had that yet. To hide your interface. I don't think so. I don't think so, no. Um, you can track people, I know that. So like, I can select this guy, I think, I think I can go to delete and it'll just, you know, it'll follow him. But, uh... That's interesting, okay. Yeah, dude, these Delhi, ho these Delhi horsemen... Delhi horsemen are... Excellent. Excellent units. It's it's scary. Delhi horsemen are awesome. Probably I think probably the best some of the best cavalry will be like Mamluk units, but Delhi horsemen are are pretty pimp. Oh, really? Just broke that easily, you bastards. Then again, it's like, dude, we have pikes. What? Are you serious right now? <laughs> oh my god. Can you fucking believe that bullshit? Wow, dude. That was ridiculous. Holy shit, man. That's funny. God, these guys are trash, I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, that was... That was scary. I was not expecting that. I didn't know they were actually sending this troop out... This force out here. Dude, that is a lot of camels. And this force isn't even healed. Fuck me, dude. If I would have seen that, I would have sent this force back up north. Holy shit. That's kind of terrifying. I'm not willing to give him any land or anything, though. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to fight this and win, dude. He's got no general, which is pretty nice. Um Fuck though, he's got four units of line infantry. Do we abandon Armenia right now? Here's what I'm thinking is we abandon Armenia, replenish, and then go back and attack them. Wow. Yeah, I was not expecting that at all.
because I'm a little under strength right now. I mean, I don't have a lot of Hillmen. The Philahine have taken some pretty some pretty serious losses. Do we just withdraw back to Azerbaijan? But, and that's a good question. Can we take this force? Um, we have a decent amount of cavalry. I don't like the idea of facing off against them though with with uh, with wounded troops. They're definitely gonna besiege. I know that much. You know what? I think I'm okay with withdrawing for now, and I'm gonna send these troops. Well, I'll probably give him. And I'm gonna send these men back. I think actually I only need two troops here. Um, I'll take I'll take these these two guys. I'll send you that way. We'll send you guys that way. These sons of bitches are probably gonna take this port, which is gonna be extremely annoying because we're gonna lose our trade again. The French are still fucking blockading me, dude. Wow, that's annoying as shit. I can I can retake Yerevan later. That's fine. I'm gonna let the Ottomans have it. Yeah, let it be their problem for a little bit. Of course. Bastards. Oh dude, no. Son of a bitch. Oh, dude, that might be the end of this campaign, man. Holy crap. Yeah, the Marathas are coming after me. Can you believe that? Wow, they're already sending in invasions. Dude. I wonder. Let me see. Regions. I, I don't even know if that'll appease them or not. I really don't. I don't think so. But hey, we got alliance with them. Interesting. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I need to focus on the West right now. Um. Ooh, we 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 ended up stealing this tech. Oh, dude. I wonder if that'll appease the 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 Marathas or not. I'm not really too convinced that it will. But uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to attack those dudes again. And then, okay, so what are we going to do here? So we're going to do some of these guys. Hmm. We weren't making any attacks in those places anyway, to be fair. So. Oh man. Let's see if I can get that back. We are training with these guys. Son of a bitch, man. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna break this alliance with those dudes. Can you believe that? We fought so hard for those provinces, we have to give them to the Marathas just to survive. We probably could retake them at some later point. As long as I hold on to, I think, all this stuff, we'll probably be all right. But damn, that was unfortunate, you know. Shit, this campaign's just been one one thing after another. It's unfortunate. Okay, let's see what they do here. Um, yeah, we really don't make that much money. That was funny. I mean, they were gonna take they were gonna take both positions anyway. Let's be fair. They were going to take both those places. Okay. I I think I probably could besiege him. I could probably win that. I just wanted to get my troops up to full strength. That's the only, that, that was my only goal. Group grenades. Wow, dude, really? This guy's actually become pretty good at stealing shit now. Holy shit. Okay, we've stolen literally everything. All right, let's send him there. He's damn French though, dude. That was that was what did us in, man. Um, to be fair, the Marathas did not break this alliance. Oh no, they did.
Oh, he's at war with Georgia. Oh, okay. Okay. That's interesting. Because we were allied for a second. I guess, I don't know. He's at war with Georgia because we called him into that war. Well, I don't know. It's kind of weird how that worked out, but uh, okay. Let's give it one more turn here. We'll see what happens with that. I mean, I might have messed that up, to be honest. That's curious. Um, it's actually kind of funny. He almost can't hand, hang on to these places. Damn, dude, this campaign. Holy shit. It was really what, what messed us up was the declaration by the Marathas, or by the French. That was what was was so annoying. Um, we probably could have, we probably could have done better in this campaign without that. So I'm, I may restart it. We'll see. I don't know. Um, do we need any more replenishment here? No. Is he training more troops? I don't think he has maybe a couple maybe like one the ally of your enemies yeah so Georgia's still our protectorate and different for military alliance it's funny too because we're, we're trading with so many people but because our ports are blockaded we literally <laughs> there's like literally almost nothing we can do it's just ridiculous you know so we may advance against the Ottomans over here. Um, I think I can probably besiege this. I want to give it one more turn for replenishment. I could use those skirmishers. Well, if it actually is just that unit. Is it really just that unit? I got to admit, though, dude, these Afghan hillmen, I mean, I need I need every ranged troop I can get. Now, you know what? I'm willing to besiege him. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I think I can take him on. That damn organ gun's scary, though. Okay, we'll see what happens here. I don't know. I may I may need to... Oh, shit. Okay, we were spending too much money. I think um, with that trade re-enabled, we might make some cash. We'll see. Let's see what's going to happen here. I don't know. The Ottomans will probably attack me. So... They'll probably sally forth. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, I think we uh, we can't retreat because we're besieging the place. So, all right, we'll fight this battle in the next episode. We'll see how it goes. Oh, man, this campaign. You know, this has been some campaign, dude. It's been interesting. Let me know if you guys would, would maybe want to see me restart it at like a lower difficulty level. That's the thing about these these minor faction campaigns is you get really weird stuff like France or something, you know, attacking you out of the blue and it just it just derails everything. You know, it just makes things harder. So let me know how much you guys want to see. Let me know what you guys uh, think. So thank you so much for watching as always, guys. And uh, please make sure to like, subscribe and comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much.